Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a brand new product from ASUS. This is also my first time on checking out a motherboard on my channel. So, I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you. Before we begin, a huge shout out to our friends at ASUS Philippines for sending over this ROG Strix B860-F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. First impression and design, right out of the box, this motherboard looks stunning. ASUS has incorporated ASUS Aura Sync RGB technology. So for all the RGB lovers out there, this will make sure that your setup will pop. The sleek black PCB, cyberpunk inspired aesthetic, and robust heat six makes this board a perfect showcase piece for any gaming PC build. At the heart of the ROG Strix B860F, we have the Intel B860 chipset, which supports the latest Intel Core Ultra processors with LGA 1851 socket. This motherboard is optimized for Turbo Boost 2.0 and Turbo Boost Max 3.0. Ensuring lighting fast processing speeds for memory, we have four DIMM slots, supports up to 192 gigs of DDR5 RAM with speeds reaching 9,066 megatransfer per second overclock. ASUS has also introduced the AEMP3, an automatic memory tuning feature that optimize the performance if there is no profiles detected. Another new great addition is the DIMM fit, powerful memory tuning solution for enhanced stability and performance. Activating it is an easy process. Enter the BIOS, select the DIMM fit to begin, and the system will undergo background calibration and might actually take several hours to complete. But it will be totally worth it if you want to tweak your memory settings. And one small but useful feature, there's an LED light indicator for detecting improperly installed memory sticks before powering on the system. For power delivery, a strong BRM setup is crucial for handling high-performance CPUs. And ASUS delivers on that. The B860F features a 16 power stage dedicated for the B core and additional two dedicated for the BCCSA voltage. Ensuring stable power delivery under heavy loads, ASUS also included a dual 8-pin 12 volts connectors, which not only provide better power distribution but also improves heat dissipation. For storage, this board has four M.2 slots, all equipped with metal heat sinks for better heat dissipation. Ensuring no data loss due to overheating, the top M.2 slot or the first M.2 slot is a PCIe 5.0 with ASUS Q-Release, a tool pre-mechanism for installing and removing heat sink. And however, the other Three M.2 slot still requires screwdriver for removal of the heatsink. While for installing the SSD, all M.2 slot has Q latch, which make it easier to install the SSID. If that's not enough, you also have four SATA ports for additional storage. For GPU support, you get a PCIe 5.0 X16 slot for high-end graphics card, plus an additional PCIe 4.0 X16 slot for expansion, and of course. ASUS include their Q-release mechanism, making sure it is easy to detach your GPU. For network connection, it is meticulously engineered to provide an unparalleled wireless experience, integrating Wi-Fi 7 technology and Bluetooth 5.4 for next-level connectivity. Built for speed and stability, this motherboard supports 4096 QAM modulation and an expansive 320 MHz bandwidth, and an impressive 5.8 gigabit link ensuring ultra-fast and reliable data transmission. Also partnered with a Q antenna capable of pass check, direction finder, and traffic monitor. There is also software called AI Networking. It helps your wireless experience. And if you still have doubts about the wireless connectivity, it has a 2.5 gig Ethernet port for fast and stable connection. 
This is a powerful motherboard aside from those heat sinks to dissipate heat. There is also a lot of pan headers to make your system cool. There is one CPU pan header, one CPU OPT pan header, one 4-pin AIO pump header, and an additional 4 4-pin four chassis pan headers. And these fans can be managed by a pan expert 4 via Armory Crate that can be downloaded, of course, on ASUS website or use the QPAN control under the BIOS. Then let's try to talk about the I.O. ports. There is a lot. For starters, there is a 6 USB Type A 5 gigabit port and an additional 10 gig port. One USB 20 gig port, one Thunderbolt port which is capable of up to 40 gig bandwidth. And if that is not actually enough for you, there are available USB headers that can be connected to your CPU case for extra USB port. And there is still a lot for this ROG Strix B860F and I will include on the link on the description below so you can check out the other pictures of this motherboard. So is the ROG Strix B860-F gaming Wi-Fi worth it? Absolutely and I believe it should have a 5 star rating. This is a picture pack motherboard built for gamers, streamers, and content creators who want high performance without breaking the bank. While the top series is actually a good alternative for budget users and the say 890 chipset is ideal for extreme overclockers, but the B860-F balance performance features and affordability perfectly. So what are your thoughts on the ROG Slicks B860-F? Let me know in the comment section below. And again guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, stay safe, and bye!